and welcome to another quick tutorial. So today I've got another wooden board which I've primed and sealed in white and the colours I'm going to be using today is a brilliant violet and titanium sorry a tinting white which is pearl titanium so I'm going to start off with doing the base colour and then once I've got the base down I'll then make a decision on what crystals and gemstones and things I'm going to apply to this board so I'm going to start off with the basic painting so let's get on with this so I'm going to add some white to this corner and some purple okay so I've got my gloves on because I'm going to be using my hands to mix this so let's start so I'm just going to and what I'm, and the reason why I'm using my fingers is I want to create a bit of texture across the board. So for a bit of contrast, a bit more contrast in, and darker edge down here, I'm actually going to add a Payne's Grey down the bottom area here just to darken that area up a touch. As you can see, I'm now just using my fingers to blend the three colours together to get a nice transition between colours. Okay, so I quite like how that's looking. So I'm just going to do the edges. So I'm just using my gloves, I'm just going to... I like my pieces to be finished on the sides, so I always like to include some of the paint. And I'm going to come back to the dark a bit in a sec. So I'm just going to make sure the lighter bits are done first. So, so we just take a bit of this from the front and then just carry it on around the edge. And so now that board's prepped, I'm now going to leave this to dry and I'll come back and do the embellishments. So welcome back, this is now pretty much dry. So I'm now going to add some embellishments to it. So I'm first of all going to start off by adding some silver spray paint which I sprayed onto a lid and I'm now going to use the back side of a spatula to drag this across the surface. So I'm just going to dip this into the silver and then I'm just literally going to just drag it across the surface. Now by using a spatula it means that the silver is just going to be on the top layers and you'll still see some of the purple underneath. I might actually use this one instead. Okay, so next I'm going to add some crystals to this corner so it's almost going to be like it's radiating out so what I want to do is just add some gel medium to this bottom edge and then start adding the stones so just add a small amount to the back and then we just start gluing these in place So I normally look for an area that's got a relatively flat edge. I'm just going to chuck in some glass chips in, in between the, some of the spaces. So now I'm going to add a layer of these gold coloured chips. So I'm going to do a layer around the outside here. So first thing I need to do is add some more gel medium to this area. And it's not going to be a huge 
amount is just enough to cover create a small line of stones and don't worry if you go a little bit too far out because we can just follow it's not doesn't need to be a neat line it's um, it's just to make sure these stones stick so we're just going to apply these to the outside here and just push them down into the med the gel medium you will get some that perhaps don't stick to the medium but that's fine because we can come back and glue some more in tomorrow if necessary so now I think we'll go with a layer of mirror chips here so we're just going to add some more gel medium so that I want this to be a little bit thicker and I'm thinking that I'll probably end up losing this background here because I'm putting on these layers that's fine so what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to push this up next to the stones I don't want to disturb the stones too much but if I just push that up it just means that we've got something for the the mirror chips to stick to okay so now for the mirror chips and then what we're going to do is we're just going to push them up too. So you put a little bit on and then just push them up next to the gold. And then just push them down into the medium. Now you will get some loose ones, but it's fine. We can glue some more in tomorrow. So any that are not fixed in, we can sort out tomorrow. So next I'm going to go with a layer of black glass chips so again we need to add some gel medium to the board so again we're just going to apply these by hand and push them in to the medium alright so now time for some purple glass so we'll do that around this edge here I might actually go a bit thicker over here so in the same manner I'm just following the outside edge of the existing design and then adding a wide band of the gel medium making sure that there's plenty on there for these stones to stick so you need to put quite a generous layer down and then go around the edge pushing all those stones into the medium. So now looking at this I've decided that I no longer like this purple background but I do like what's going on here so I've decided I'm going to change this up and incorporate some more crystals over here and then open it up and then end up connecting the two in, uh, by moving in to the centre. So we're going to start by adding some more crystals to this side. Now I don't want it to be completely on the corner so I'm actually going to do it off the corner just sort of in this area because I don't want it to be a mirror image I want it to be asymmetrical so I'm going to place where I want the stones to go the crystals rather so if I put plenty of gel medium over here and then I'm just going to glue everything on as I did pre in the previous section and I'm just going to add the crystals, the glass chips and stones in, in the same order that I did on the other side. Remembering to push those well into the gel medium. So here you can see me, how I push the, the stones into the medium just to make sure that they are stuck. So again I continue around the edges replicating the pattern that I did on the first section so I'm just adding some black and then I'll come back in and add another band of gel medium and that will then form the purple layer so 
so now that I've done this area quite light with a bit of purple I feel this middle area now needs to be much darker so I'm going to go with the Payne's Grey and create a dark channel down the middle spread this about and I do want it to be quite textural so I'm just going to You know what, I'm going to add it with a brush and then I'll add some texture later. And then I'll get up close and personal to the other stones in a sec. So for the time being it's just about getting the colour on. So now I'm going to add some gold spray paint to the outer edges here and I've placed it into a little lid and I'm going to use the spatula to the palette knife to drag it through and create a little bit of gold around these edges. And I'm just dragging it across the surface of the wet paint and then to finish it off I think I'm just going to put a, a little line of gold stones just along there. So I'm just going to clean my palette knife and then add a touch more gel medium into that area. Okay, so I'm going to call this one done for now. Uh, tomorrow I'll come back and go over it with some more gel medium to make sure that all these chips and things are glued to the board. So I shall see you very soon. So I've decided that the purple is just way too bright. It's It needs turning back. So what I'm using is to turn it back is some Payne's Grey from Atelier. Uh, it's an interactive acrylic. Uh, I really like this dark Payne's Grey. And so all I'm doing is I've just placed a small amount on this bit of scrap. And I'm literally just going to take my brush and just in a circular motion just tone down the colour of that purple and then I will take it a little bit and lighten it up a little bit into the centre so that it sort of goes from dark to light like so so it's just going to have a small amount on the brush and then so start at the outside where it's a bit darker and then pull it in to the centre so as you can see this is a little bit more subtle now, it's not so in your face like it is on this side. So I'm going to do the same on this side as well, so just using a small amount on the brush and then I'm just literally just going to start at the outside edge and then as the paint starts coming off the brush I'll then start moving into the centre. Now I do have a few loose stones still, but I am going to give this another coat of gel medium once this paint is dried and then that will secure any loose stones. I may even give it um, a top coat of resin just to give it a little bit of gloss in this area here. So I'll make a decision tomorrow on whether I apply resin or whether I put the gel medium on. So I'm actually preferring that now. So I'll come back tomorrow and decide whether I'm going to apply a coat of resin over this. I'm thinking I'm, I may well do that and then maybe add some extra glitter and things like that just to give it a little bit more sparkle. So we shall come back tomorrow with that decision. So I did resin this project the next day. I didn't film the process because I had the camera set up on another project so I just done this off to one side but I, as you can see I've just added a nice coat of resin over the top and it's given it a nice glossy shine. As always I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas for creating geodes without the use of resin. You can of course like me add resin to the end but this gives you a general idea. If so please give this a thumbs up so until next time, bye for now.